Hello everybody. Have you ever needed or wanted to make physical prints from your digital camera? If so, then you have discovered, most likely, that you have to crop away a certain amount of your image on either the top or the bottom or the sides to get it to fit within that 4x6 or 5x7 or 8x10 or 11x16. Whatever it is, you're going to have to crop away a certain amount in a certain place depending on the aspect ratio of your camera. Unless you have left yourself a bunch of room, then this might actually change the whole nature of what you intended your image to be. So I wanted to go through it real quick and just make you aware of aspect ratios and we'll do it the simple way. I'll show you in Lightroom, but if you have, say, a, a Canon DSLR, a Nikon DSLR, a Pentax DSLR, then most likely at the time of this video, you have a 3 to 2 sensor. If, on the other hand, you have an Olympus DSLR, a Panasonic DSLR, uh, a Micro Four Thirds camera, uh, a lot of point and shoots differ, but a lot of them are four to three. If you have any one of those, then you probably have a four to three. I myself have a Canon 7D, which is a three to two sensor, and the camera I'm shooting this video with, the Canon S95, which is a four to three sensor. So I'll go ahead and show you an image with both and show you how much you're going to have to crop off of each image for each major size print. So let's take a look inside Lightroom. Here's an example of an image shot with a Canon 7D and let's take a look at if we were going to print this image what we would need to do. Here it is in original 3x2 so you can get a 4x6 image out of this, the common size. One size bigger, 5x7 you'd actually have to start cutting some image out. Still wouldn't be too bad, but not too good either. And then one more step up to 8 by 10. Now you're really affecting the image here. Um, you're, in my opinion, it's, it would crop it to the point where it wouldn't even be the original intent uh, of the image. It, it would completely ruin it. Now let's take a look at one shot with a 4 to 3 sensor. This one, if I can find it, was shot with my Canon S95. So if we lay the uh, crop tool on top here, 4 by 6 image, actually it would make you cut off quite a bit more than with the 7D. Uh, 5 by 7. Uh, quite a bit less, and an 8x10, uh, about the same as a 5x7. So the 4 by the 4 to 3 sensor is actually pretty good if you want to print large prints. You know, I, I don't think I would choose a camera based on the size, you know, the aspect ratio of the sensor, but it's definitely something to know to note about your camera. So hopefully you learned something new. If not, at least it's a reminder to you to keep it in the back of your mind. I know at the time of this video, a lot of people don't even ever print photos. You post them on the internet, you may resize them, crop them down, uh, do all kinds of stuff to them, but you never do print them. And that's great, that's kind of where we're headed and it's pretty much where we are right now but there might come a day when you might want to you know print one up frame it hang it on your wall it might be a family picture you might want to you know hang in your bedroom or something like that and this will be good information to at least know when that time comes so have a great day we'll talk to you soon